Hi everybody, it's the Grizz here from If It Wears Power Armor. Uh, just wanted to give y'all a little rundown of my order that I placed from Chapter House Studios. As y'all know, I've been uh, working on a Salamander's Army, and so I decided that I really wanted to give it that little extra, you know, to make it make it stand out on the table. So I started looking around the internet and <clears throat> came across Chapter House Studios. So uh, just to show you a few of the things that I ordered to dress up my Salamander's Army. I got these here, six uh, Storm Shields. I got one Thunder Hammer to go on my Chapter Master Tushan. I got two of the Salamander style heads. And then I got 20 shoulder pads. And all of them will have the, they have the Salamander's logo on them. And then for the Sergeants, I got these 3D shoulder pads uh, with the Salamanders on them. Um, so, just kind of a look at them. Um, the... The storm shields are really, really big. Um, just to give you an idea, here is the uh, sergeant from the Terminator Assault Squad storm shield. So, I mean, they're actually just a little bit bigger than it is. So if you can imagine that on each one of your uh, Terminators. And they've all got the salamander logo up in the corner, and then they've got the scale look across the fronts of them. Um, the shoulder pads will have a recessed Salamander's logo. And like I said, the the 3D ones have a, obviously, 3D Salamander's logo. Um, so far, the quality that I looked at, I mean, there's no major flashes, no real big flaws. I mean, if I got the same bag shipped to me for, and it said uh, Games Workshop on it, I wouldn't, you know, I mean... It wouldn't surprise me as far as the quality is concerned. I mean, I think they do a really good job. Um, on the shipping, when it comes in, they ship it to you in a brown... They ship it as cheap as they can. So it's uh, through the mail, U.S. Postal Service. It's one of these envelopes with the bubble wrap inside of it. And a fragile sticker on the front of it. So it should get to you pretty safe. Uh, shipping time, I, sh I ordered mine last week. It shipped out on Friday and got to me today on Monday, so it will, you know, it'll come pretty quick. Um, let's see the shoulder pads. Just to give you an idea on size, that is a standard Space Marine shoulder pad from Games Workshop, come right next to one of the Chapter House shoulder pads. If you can tell, they're kind of there's a little bit difference in size, um, just just a little bit. The Chapter House one's a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. But I don't think you'll notice it on the model. Um, here's a model that I have that I put them on, put one on, and I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Um, they fit really well, uh, fit tight. And then uh, the heads, the heads were the only thing that that I'm not gonna say it right, but if you look at them, they look really good. But to me, the necks are just a little bit long. Uh, maybe not, but they just seem that way to me. Maybe once I work with them, I won't notice that. Uh, or I'll just take a file and just file them down. Not a big deal. Um, the Thunder Hammer. One, if you can tell, the handle is not very long compared to a standard Thunder Hammer. You know, you're looking at pretty good hint. You know, amount size-wise difference, um, length-wise anyway. So what I'll probably do, not a big deal, I'm just going to cut the the head off right about there and just use the head and then stick it on something else. Um, as far, you know, like I said, quality wise, I I think they're great. Um, everything looks good. Everything fits good, you know, minus the, the one head issue. Um, the, the, the detail on them is really, really good. I mean, and then... Uh, as far as price, because price is the big thing when you're coming to, to trying to upgrade an army like this. And that was one of my big concerns, is I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, but I wanted a really good looking army. With the shoulder pads, I have a dollar a piece in those. Um, the heads were 85 cents, and the storm shields were $2. And I believe the. Yeah, and the, and the Thunder Hammer was a dollar. So. I mean, really, it's a pretty cost-effective way to really dress up your army. I spent, with shipping and everything, I spent $40.20. Uh, 
And like I said, that's going to upgrade my entire assault squad, um, one of my HQ choices, and 20 uh, tactical marines that are all going to be, you know, have that custom look. And so to me, you know, yeah, that's not, I mean, especially when you start looking, comparing this to, say, the Forge World route. And then you're paying, you know, shipping and you're having to fight with uh, the differences between currencies currently. And uh, like I said, for me, for what I found, the Chapter House Studio stuff, it looks really good. Um, they've got really good detailed pictures on their website. Uh, I'll post a couple of those up so that way you can see what these are going to look like painted. And hopefully here before too long, we'll get them on some models and show you how they look all put together. Other than that, I believe that's all we've got for now. So this is The Grizz signing out.